so um, I got an email where it was said that uh, I should be making a tutorial for uh, a kind of room, maybe kind of apartment rooms in 3D in Blender. But uh, when I uh, read that email, I just remembered this tool, uh, which allows you to design rooms and apartments and also you can put your furniture in inside it and you can render it right render it the 3d image so uh, this is home styler okay it's 3d.homestyler.com and uh, it's free to use of course there are some features like if you render normal image it's free but if you go you know panorama and then video and all that for video um, you'll have to pay or you'll have to upgrade your membership otherwise if you just need normal image rendered from 3d um, rooms or 3d objects it's free so this is what it looks like the user interface um, here it says create room explore and import so I'm not going to go to this import because I don't have anything to import but you have this explore if you click here you have this template different templates so the thing is either you can choose from this these templates or you can go down here which says draw walls and you can draw from scratch uh, let's go to the explore templates first you can go to templates and choose any one of them there are different uh, designs okay if you go down here they say you know three dollars four dollars and all that but we're not going to go there just you can just choose from one of these I think we can choose this one four bold colors and geometry room click here and then it loads the 3d room right now it's in 2d view if you, you know, hover over here you can see you know, uh, there are different parts they're made of different parts and you can also see the measure measurements okay so it's very useful if you are actually designing rooms they have the measurements uh, like it says five feet eight inches so so that you can uh, uh, you can show the real uh, measurement of the room so this is in 2d mode here down here you can go here and it says 2d and here you have 3d now if you click on 3d you can see the 3d version of this uh, house or apartment whatever you call it and with your mouse left click click and then you drag it you can you know drag it like you do in any 3d software so yeah so it has uh, walls all around but the thing is if you, when you turn it around turn it around then when the when the wall is at the front side you don't see it because it needs to show the room okay like this okay now you have like three different rooms here if you go to 2d you can see this is living room master bedroom and lobby and uh, if you go to 3d mode it looks like this though you know they're opening there's uh opening in the wall and you have this door here so the thing is you can add your furnitures in the rooms you can go down here and it says door and window and structures okay um Uh, let's go down here uh, structures um, 
let me see uh, did I forget anything okay so okay I can go to create a catalog here okay catalog and then we have different options here uh, windows wainscot doors railing um, let's go down here uh, there should be some like furnitures uh, yeah I have here furniture uh, okay yeah you have here okay you have trends structure furniture and you, you can go to furniture and you have different categories here so there are furnitures for living room a bedroom and uh, kitchen dining room all kinds of uh, furniture so here if you go to 2d view this is the living room the big one is living room you can add this uh, through 2d or 3d you can do both let's go to 2d it would be a little easier let's go to the sofas and then you can choose here if you see like um, dollar sign then they are paid but if you don't see like this one the first one it's it's not paid it's free so if you click here now it shows you can uh, move it anywhere okay if you just stick this to the wall then it just uh, changes its uh, direction so right now I haven't clicked so once you click it's there okay it's all all set now if you go to 3d view you can see the sofa is already there you go to 2d or even from 3d you can just drag it like this okay and then um, you can uh, go to these things whatever you want like maybe in kitchen uh, you need some cabinet set and then the first one is free uh, click here and maybe around here okay but it's not good let's go to 2d and then click here and then if this sign is rotation sign uh, maybe not now but still you can rotate it if you want and then go here rotate it okay and then go to 3d view and you can see you have this thing but it's uh, it doesn't look good I think you have to change the direction like this over here uh, it's still not good let's go down here okay that's better okay so yeah in this way you can uh, put your furnitures and everything in the room so how it works uh, let's go to this kitchen and then I'll go to render and choose a normal image because if you choose another option you might have to pay and here it is a view from the camera and you can drag it like this okay and on this right side you can see this camera position I can change this okay like this now it's in the kitchen okay so this is the view you want to render and uh, there are different versions of render rendering uh, you have like this generate daylight cabinetry night whatever let's go to daylight and then let's see how it looks in daylight there are a lot of uh, lots of uh, Mm, settings out out here but I won't go uh, here just you you can explore they're, they're just like resolution and uh, 
aspect ratio, uh, whether you are uploading this, I mean, uh, rendering the image for like certain devices, you know, uh, in that case, you can change the aspect ratio, otherwise, you don't need to. And then height, pitch angle, you can adjust uh, for the camera. Basically, these are camera settings. Right now, I don't need to do any settings for camera because the height is okay. If you need to, you know, take, uh, I mean, uh, let's say you you want to look, you want the the render look like you're taking picture from very low uh, angle, then you need to adjust this here this height okay so yeah these things you can do, do uh, for the camera setting uh, everything done and you can just click on this render so it goes to this render queuing and if you click here uh, it says rendering and it says estimated one minutes left and after one minute it's one minute it's gonna render the image and the yeah the render is ready basically so the thing is you can uh, design a 3d room and render it uh, and now if you click here let's view details now see it looks real very real the room is it, the room looks like it's a picture taken uh, from a real life room. The cabinet is here, the wall, and outside you can see the view of a city. You know there are buildings, so it looks like uh, you know a picture is taken like uh, from a camera, a real camera. So it's very very good tool. The only thing here is it has this home styler watermark so uh, since it's free there is a watermark if you don't want the watermark you need to upgrade uh, your uh, what do we call it maybe membership so you will need to sign up for you know upgrade and you will yeah you can get the render without watermark otherwise if you are okay with the watermark this still looks good to me it looks good uh, after that you can just go to this download button and you can download uh, even in download you have like download render which is the actual picture and you have download ID map uh, I don't know much about ID map but it just uh, it shows you in uh, the image in different colors which I'm not sure uh, I don't know what it's uh, used for but yeah you have that option okay so with that I think it's uh, uh, you know what it is about so yeah I think this home style home styler tool is very very helpful for those who want to you know design their rooms in both 2d and 3d uh, oh I forgot to show you how you can do this uh, without the template if you go to create room and um, you can just uh, go to file and new and then it's empty now without using uh, template you just can go to draw wall and you know click here which says draw straight walls so you have this you know guidelines and just you can follow these guides guidelines and just you just click and the drag it shows the length okay of the wall and just click here and again you can click here click and then click now you have this one wall you can just press escape after that you have this wall you, right now it's unnamed you can just uh, click and then here 
floor type unnamed you can go here and choose let's say it's um, bedroom so again you can click on the draw um, straight walls you can just click here and then you can go like this and this time maybe a bigger room this is maybe a living room and then you can just do like this and escape so now you have this living room you can just click here and go here room type living room okay and after that it's the same thing you, you can go to catalog and then choose what you want to put um, beside the furnitures you have here like these door and windows let's say you want to go to uh, arc window you can put uh, here I don't know let's go to 3d okay looks like this but I don't like how it looks right now so you can click here and then you can adjust the width here okay and then you can just I don't know how it's okay um and then you can uh, adjust the position okay uh, it's, it's coming here uh, okay so basically you know how it works it's just uh, the arc window I'm not sure how it's going to work but let's see another type of window uh, I'm gonna go very basic window just window and then click here okay now you can see there is a window and you can adjust the width okay height and you have this window okay so yeah this is how you can uh, design uh, rooms or apartments in homestyler 3d.homestyler.com okay let's uh, go here and choose single door and just put door here yeah okay looks good so yeah uh, I won't go further uh, it's just it's a basic uh, tutorial on how you can uh, design simple uh, 3d rooms in homestyler so yeah I hope you like the video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel